So you can make, like, I was making good money in China being a DJ. That's what you did? I, that's what I did mostly. For who? Just for clubs and shit, like for bars and shit Whites or like yellows? That. Whatever for, well, <laughs> well, interestingly, I started out doing black shows. So I was doing like hip hop Afrobeat shows. For so black? So it was very, yeah. So it was a very niche, very, very niche uh, uh, crowd Clients that we out. were going for, right? But our parties started getting packed because the few black people in Wuxi would call their black friends in Sujo, who would call their black friends in like Suzhou. other small towns, right? So our shit started getting packed. Like our shit was packed the fuck out. And then a Chinese club, well, like, like Chinese people started filtering into our parties just because they were so packed. Because it was like authentic, authentic, well, authentic they would, Western? Well, first they started filtering in because it was packed. They were just like, what the fuck's going on in here? Why there's so many people? Number yeah. one, why there's so many black people? This is crazy. So they go in and the party's lit. You know what I mean? It's a yeah. party. Like, it's a fun fucking party like so they're coming in everybody's drunk they're like oh shit there's chinese people you know how black people get so they're like oh shit there's chinese people here we hugging them up buying them shots you know what i mean they're, dying. they're having a great time and it's maybe like four of them so then the next party there's eight of them next party is 12 of them right next party there's a promoter who owns a different club why the fuck are my people not coming to my club they're tonight coming for research. why are they coming here you know what i mean so he so by that point they were just like, yo, can you come do our club? Oh, really? Yeah. So, so by the time I left China, like we were like ramping up where they were like Can Chinese dance? No, but they didn't want to dance. <laughs> uh, they didn't want to uh, dance. Uh, they wanted to <laughs> take photos. Uh, That's like all so yeah. all that social media stuff you see. Like on TikTok and all that shit with Chinese people, like that's how they live. Like they don't live in the moment. So when we showed up to DJ, they had like photographers ready that we didn't know about. They had like videographers, they had models, they had bottles and shit, they had lights. So they had the regular house DJ. And then they were like, we got special guests all the way from America. <laughs> <laughs> Brooklyn, stand up, Biggie Smalls. Like they're doing that <laughs> they're shit. They're just saying references right? you've heard they're of. Just, and they're just like, most deaf, Biggie Smalls, <laughs> Brooklyn, the, the Marcy Grand Houses, Canyon. right. Jay-Z. And they bring us up, right? And the fucking, there's like like not explosions, but like you know, uh, like strobe lights and fucking cameras flashing. Damn. We were like, "What?" Like we didn't know that shit was gonna happen, so we were like, "What the fuck?" But we got to start spinning now, and they were fucking just playing hip hop, like you know, '90s hip hop shit like that, regular shit, and they're fucking dying. They're fucking Damn. having mad fun. And then, like, we played for, like, an hour, and they were, like, bring back on the regular Chinese DJ. Because he knew what it, what they, they knew wanted what they to wa hear. What, what kind of, what, did they have hip-hop? They had some hip-hop, but they have, they have like, Chinese hip-hop. They have, like, hip-hop. I know there was a Hong know? Kong, like, rap crew or a couple no, of No, there, there was a bunch. They call it Trap oh, in there. It's just called Trap. So, which we have in America, there's trap music, which is, like, yeah. you would... As an American, you would think that's like T.I., you know, Southern rap, you would mm -hmm. classify as trap music. But out there, they call they call the scene, the hip-hop scene, they call it the trap scene. And that's all-encompassing hip-hop scene in China. Mm, so that's what they used to do. So they used to, like, wear jerseys. They used to wear dreads and shit. They used to do shit to, like, make their hair look like Afro what? texture. Yeah. Like, A bunch of dolezals? They would, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, pretty much. Chinese but it was like, But it was, you know, it was crazy because it was, like, very expensive. So, like, they weren't pretending to be black. Right. They were being Chinese who could afford to look black. Just dressing the Does part. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like, and it's very expensive to do so because you got to buy Jordans. You got to buy gold chains. You know what I mean? You yeah. got to get your hair done No, it's wearing a costume. Way. I love so wearing a costume. So it's like, they, they aspire. These are kids whose, like, parents, like, own a toothpaste factory. Like, it makes toothpaste tubes yeah. for all companies. So, like, these kids have money. Hip-hop over there is not, like, a poor people's game. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're not going to see a peasant in a side village. Like, oh, I fuck with hip-hop. Yeah. <laughs> hip-hop in China is, like, a rich man's scene. Damn, that's interesting. Because it you comes know what from I mean? the streets here. Right. And they're like, we're flying, we're importing Americans to DJ our club. That's, that was the wow. image they were trying to portray. Like, wow. we have contact with black wow. people from Brooklyn. Wow. You know what I mean? Like, that's what they're selling. That's wow. why we were there. Because they didn't want to hear our music. They didn't want to hear Biggie. They wanted they the didn't culture. Hear, they want, yeah, they just wanted the photo op. 
Like, dude, we that's know- something that's very uh, instructive about Chinese tourists, the worst tourists in the world, I'll say, um, is they always get off their bus, take their pictures, and almost go back. Right. Like, they're just there to grab pictures for right. back Right, they don't need the, uh, the experience. To a degree. Yeah, exactly. That's why they always stay in, like, deep Jersey. They get them on a bus over here to the, to the uh, you know, the right. Empire they State Building. Right, they all move together. It's just yeah. one, like, hive mind. Where you been and where you going? This is Ari's travel show, yeah. We're gonna go on a journey today. See what there's to see in this big world. We're exploring different places, seeing all different types of faces. We're gonna talk about travel today. It's you be true. 